hello and welcome back. First of all, a very happy St. Patrick's Day to any of our Irish viewers that are watching. Today I'm going to be starting the rebuild of the bean bed here. So it's a rebuild because originally the bed has always been here. I always grow the beans in the same place. It's just that originally it was constructed out of wooden scaffolding planks and they've lasted six years with no protection at all, no lining, so I can't complain at that. But I want to do something a bit more permanent now and I've been fortunate to be, get hold of some paving flags, some stones. These are the old two foot square ones and two inches thick. So hopefully they ain't going to see me out because, so these have lasted six years and six years time I'm going to be 72 and I don't want to be lumping chunks of wood around. So hopefully something now, God permitting, I'll still be in six years time enjoying. So let's crack on. We've had some uh, overnight rain, which in theory should make digging the channel out a lot easier. Uh, I'm not going to be filming all of it or time-lapsing, but what I'll do, I'll put the odd clip in here and there as we come to a progress stage, as I call it. Um, just involves basically digging a rectangle out and putting these pavers in, or the bigger ones, on the side and squaring them up and that's it. Nice and gentle all day as long as the sun's shining. There's no easy way to do it. That is unless, of course, you can get some other mug to do the digging for you. I've started off by putting a string line down, and all that is to give me a line of sight in which to dig the channel. At the end of the day, it's on the allotment. We're not building a house. It doesn't need to be perpendicular and 90 degrees square. But it's nice to have it somewhere near. Although I've got a string line to give me the direction, it does help if you can get one of the edges of the channel fairly vertical, and that then helps when you put the slab or the flags down up against it. Well, that's the first row in. 
must say, not too bad. That slab there is a little bit low, probably a quarter of an inch, half inch, but at the end of the day, like I said before, it's an allotment. Fairly in line. It's not been too bad putting them in. Digging the channel out was quite easy because the rain overnight has made it easier. The hard part was actually manoeuvring the flags, the slabs, because they are dead weight, so two by two, two inches thick. And I've been walking them, and you've got to fetch them out, drop a bit more soil in, or dig it out. All in all, probably go in and out four or five times. So, anyway, I firmed it down each side. Whether I start the other side today, I don't know. Uh, when I'm going to have something to eat now. If you're doing anything like this, of course, lifting ergonomics comes into it, particularly if you've got bad back troubles. I use a, a support belt around there, and I must say that does help a lot. But even so, remember to keep your back straight, bend your legs. And uh, that's it for this one. So maybe tomorrow we'll crack on with the other side. Well, after lunch, I felt revitalised and had a new burst of energy, so I decided to carry on. I've got the end one in there, as you can see, and from there I've run a string line right along the bottom to the width of the slab at the top of this end, and I've started marking the channel out, ready to put the other five pavers down there. Just got a few specks of rain appearing now, so... I think that's a natural excuse to call it a day. Although the rain keeps threatening, it's still not arrived yet, so I'm plodding on. I've now dug the channel out, and uh, not sure how we are for depth-wise. I don't think it's that far off. I'm going to put the first paver in up the far end there and put the level across the top just to check it with the front then move along like that. Well, it's definitely end of day one now. I need to find another slab just to slot in the end. Not the prettiest of things, but it'll do the job. Hello, welcome back. I've got the last one in place now. The tops of these slabs, I'm still a bit uppity, but uh, I'm going to put a bit of capping over the top of them at later on. First of all, I want to get the bed prepared. I'm just levelling it off at the moment, and now we've got some cardboard, I'm going to put a layer of that down. A couple of layers of horse manure from the pile at the top, and then put some spent potato compost to top that off, and that should see us through ready for this season. So that's the cardboard in place now. I've put this down not because it's going to be a no dig bed. It's uh, towards the end of, I think it was not last year, the year before, I had a touch of the mare's tailing. I did treat it with weed killer and it seems to have gone, but I'm just putting this down as a bit of insurance to try and suppress it even more. So uh, I've got to pop out now, do a little errand, but when I come back, we'll be filling this with horse manure. Not sure if I mentioned before, but these pavers that I'm building this bed out of are the old imperial sizes, they're two feet square and two inch thick. And when I was looking for this end one here, I was slab short. And most of the ones I've got are the new metric ones, which are 600 millimetres, and that's about half inch short. So I was looking around, looking around, and eventually I thought I've popped two over the back there so I went round to have a look and there they are there so I was just about to grab it look around the corner and it looks like Mr Robin started building his nest so I'm staying there and luckily I was able to find another one the other end of the plot Well, that's this bed topped up now with manure. Still about 
three or four inches left to go, but I say I'll be topping that up with the spent potato compost near the planting. I still haven't planted the beans yet, so no rush. Topping it up or filling this up didn't take all that long. Initially I did shovel it out with the fork and that, but luckily there was a kind another plot holder on the side too. Coming out man, it's far easier lifting the full barrel up and tipping it in. And before we know it, it was full. Good morning. I've come up with this weird and wonderful idea of trying something to tidy up of the new bean bed. Just hope it works. Got quite a long length here of down pipe from a rainwater gutter system. And the idea is I'm going to cut that so it runs along the length of the top of the bed here. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll chop a slot out the whole length, so slightly narrower than the width of these slabs, and then push it on, and in effect it'll act like a big, long bulldog clip. So that's what it looks like hacked out. A bit rough and ready, but hopefully that'll be a nice fit. I'm going to try it onto the slabs now. Well, I must say I'm very impressed how this has turned out with this damn pipe. Cutting it's a bit of a pain and it do get a bit messy, but it does the job. Nice tight fit on here and these are going to get nowhere at all. The only concern that might happen at a later date is if the end pieces splay out. But if I can see that, I'm going to put a, a little ratchet strap all the way around, get out a few clicks and pull it in. But as it is at the moment, I can't see much like that happening. This down pipe here is something which will help me on the allotment. I'm sure other people now has got allotments, even with wooden boards and raised beds. Pop this over the top, it'll stop any ingress of water going in the top, and it still allows airflow to get up through the ends. So I'll be keeping my eye out for more of this to, for future projects. So that's about it for this one. Many thanks for watching this new bean bed build, <laughs> and uh, hope to see you again in the near future. Till then, bye for now.